Hi everyone, welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot and Astrology. I'm Denise, welcome if you're new to my channel. I, we have a wonderful community here. But anyway, this is Trump's weekly reading. We're going to be going from uh, May 28th to June 3rd. So, uh, anyway, let me swap out cameras here and bring you over my table. Okay, hold on, be right back. <laughs> okay. Oops, let me make sure this camera's straight. Okay, I'm using the, um, just the radio, good old radiant rider weight, but I forgot that I had this deck that I had cut down, I, I've trimmed, so they're smaller, and I can do, um, with these cards, and the tripod up just a little bit more, I can do um, a Celtic cross. So, and I have lots of room on the outside, so I may keep adding on, but let, let's just see what comes through with the normal 10 cards. Oh, and I also have to say, I'm doing this reading on Tuesday, the Tuesday before the normal Friday. Uh, so, and I'll just, you know, schedule it, but I'm not going to know what happens after Tuesday while I'm doing this reading. But so far, man. <laughs> Jiminy Christmas. Uh, Jack Smith has evidence that, uh, that, and that's from Corcoran, I'm sure, uh, that he was warned way ahead of time uh, that he had those classified documents and he wasn't allowed to hold on to them. So there's that. And I'm pretty sure Corcoran quit. I think he resigned. Uh, and Jack Smith is also subpoenaed, uh, and I read this in the New York Times, was, I think it was New York Times, yeah, I was, that, that uh, he subpoenaed, so Jack Smith subpoenaed uh, any records he could get from Trump about his foreign business deals going back to 2017, because he's looking into whether or not there's any connection between Flump's uh, foreign deals and the classified docs that he took because he wants to sell them, right? Well, we already know all that, but Jack Smith is on to that now. Um, probably has been on to a bunch of other things, but then something came up. I mean, he's got to have been on to this. Anyway, and then, if that's not enough, E. Jean Carroll's suing him for another $10 million because he couldn't keep his big mouth shut. He's still, uh, you know, defaming her, so there's those punitive damages. And Fonnie Willis is looking into RICO charges against uh, at least 15 people, including him. <laughs> Racketeering, conspiracy. Whew. And, you know, we can be sure that Noel Dumphy's 23,000 emails from Rudy would have much more than um, just his offering pardons for a couple million dollars. Uh, and then the other thing was, earlier this morning on the news, I noticed that, uh, well, actually, I think it came out last night, but I was reminded this morning that Trump has to appear, what was that guy's name? Juan, Juan Mershon, I think that's how you pronounce his name, has to appear before him in New York criminal court, but he can do it virtually, I guess. And, be, and he's being uh, banned from posting any evidence online, any social media site, whatever. Uh, and this is, of course, to do with, uh, was there 34 counts? No, wait, maybe that's separate. Maybe that's the other New York case. That Yeah, that's Alvin Bragg's case. But this one has to do with the Stormy Daniels hush money case. So we'll see if he violates that later. I'll, I'll probably do more cards over here in the future section. So, okay, so these cards have to be thoroughly shuffled. So let's see what's coming through. All right, right there. <laughs> Lori, if you're out there, we got the face plant card. That's what Lori calls it. Lori with the wave positive change. I love her to death or to bits. So anyway, forces in motion. Uh, his greatest challenge is... Maybe he can't keep his big mouth shut, <laughs> but definitely his strength. Uh, what is coming through? 
what he has no control over. Oh my goodness! Whoa! Okay, what he's done in the past, well, we know. That, and I left all the cards upright so you guys could see the images clearly and my little astroglyphs. So if you're trying to trying to learn, you know. Actually, hold on. I'm looking in the viewfinder realizing I definitely need to move over a bit. Okay, so forces in motion, greatest challenges, where he's at, you know, what he's sitting in, uh, what he has usually some control over, but when you get the tower card, you've lost control. So he has no control. And then this would be his past uh, with the uh, magician. This is his pathological liar. You know, I've, if I would have... Um, well, this is also his scheming and his uh, ability to try and control his reality. But if I would have allowed for reversals, this one probably would have come through reversed, which would be lying. And then what's hanging over him that he doesn't have any control is a whole lot of... Well, this could be Jack Smith. Um, it's just, it's, it's a whole lot. It's the movement of information, communications, and everything that he can't control. Everything up here he can't control. Okay. Um, over here in his near future, we have the Hermit. I, I think he's going to have tummy problems with this card. Oh, he's been having tummy problems. That's right. We got that last week, didn't we? I Normally, this card straight up would be somebody doing some soul searching and having some solitude. But uh, he doesn't do that. So I'm going to pretend it came through reverse because this doesn't this more make sense, right? Let's just do that. Doesn't that make more sense that he would be repeating his mistakes and he's lost his way and he's feeling isolated? And he's still lying. <laughs> more and more deception with this one reversed. Yikes. Okay, and then over here, what he's attracting? Well, he's attracting some kind of money, but maybe it's how the money has been spent, what he's done with it in the past. And this would also be especially if this card were reversed, this, this would be a hoarder. This would be somebody who's extremely corrupt and um, very, very controlling. So, but on another level, I mean, if this were him, I would say it's reversed, but this is in the position of what he's attracting. So I think what he's attracting is just a wealth of physical evidence coming in against him. He's also attracting a lot of attention. Uh, maybe maybe um, Liz Cheney is helping Jack Smith with some more information, or maybe something's come through. And this would be his diluted, you know, female vote, because he, you know, he does have them. <sighs> some of them. It's amazing to me, the gullibility, gull is that the right way to say it? Gullibility? Is that even a word? <laughs> of some people. Uh, so, but this is in the position of how others are influencing him. So here's somebody he's listening to. I don't know if it's Ivanka. It could be just because this is blonde. She's not a natural blonde and she's a Scorpio. She's not a fire sign. But, you know, I, there is some woman who's influencing him. And that's and, and uh, Melania is a Taurus, so that's not her either. So I don't know who that is. Uh, maybe you guys know. It would be any fire sign woman. So so Leo, Sag, or uh, I'm sorry, Aries, Leo, or Sag. And then his distant future, Seven of Swords. And again, I didn't I didn't uh, allow for reversals. Uh, if this was reversed, he would not be getting away with something. Uh, and we know he's not really going to... Well, then again, maybe this is him running off to Saudi Arabia. Uh, the outcome with the... Um, and, you know, an, an outcome is really just depending, dependent upon um, 
where, well, what the process is, because I could have a different outcome for him every week, right? Oh, but we do have travel. We do have the world, the travel card here. So I'm thinking, uh, so you know what? I'll do some more cards for what's hanging over him. But these these two together, I'm, I'm thinking that he has some nurturing, uh, some creativity coming in. I think he is trying to get away. You know, we've got the moon in Aquarius here. Uh, I think he is trying to get away. And he's, th this could be, and I, there's no way he's going to want to go to Mother Russia, but there's that very real possibility here that um, this would be any type of like crown prince, MBS. You know, I mean, if we let go of the feminine version of this and just look at the images, they're, they're in uh, abundance, right? Dirty Saudi oil money and in a, wearing a robe, a crown and a robe. That's good enough for me. I don't know what sign MBS is, but, you know, because this is the foreign card. This is travel. So I think we can expect him to run away. Yeah. Uh, for the money. No, wait, actually. Yeah, no, this is where I felt to, to push it. So let's do it. Um, of course, for the money. Always just thinking about the money. Uh, there's going to be disappointment as to <laughs> as to where he can live and who he can be with. Dis major disappointment as to what he can attract as far as safety. Now on another level, because of the travel and these other cards here, I, I do feel like he possibly could try to hop on a plane with the Saudis after they come to his uh, one of his golf events, one of, one of his um, golf courses. I mean, that's happened. We've seen that before. Um, well, I mean, we haven't seen him do that before, but we've, we've seen them come in, just massive amounts of Saudis, Saudi nationals come in to play golf at his, I, th I think they're the LIV golf tournaments. I have no idea what it stands for. Uh, so yeah, so let, let's go a little bit down here. So we have, with the Six of um, Cups, it's the past. It has everything to do with what he's done in the past. But man, this faceplant card, he's just, he's really, he's totally done. And then we have this lack of strength and his world falling apart. I mean, the tower is crisis, upheaval. Uh, very, very painful loss and a big change. It's, it's our disaster card, right? And it's because of the past and because of his lies. And this guy is also a stealer, and so is this one, right? Because of the stealing here. There are clues here. These cards kind of always hook up together. Yeah. Wow. Uh, let me flip the deck over and see what's on the other side. Yeah, he thinks he's a star. He does, you know, he does have these plans. He does have hope. He does think he has some miracles coming in. He's just trying to hold on to the money. The greedy, you know, little, yeah, right? Because, again, it's all about the money. But we know... I mean, we know what would happen to him if uh, if he were to try to, um, yeah, <laughs> if he were to continue down that road of denial and try to initiate these new relationships with, um, or relationship in a new way. I, you know what? Honestly, when it comes to, so if I read on a different level, when it comes to the, uh, the magician, he may very well be, have have been making those plans to run off uh, with, um, he's probably has plans with MBS. So if that's the case, and they have uh, all these um, CIA, NSA, you know, they have intelligence on him, not only ours, but others, and there's all the, remember the, 
Discord leaks or whatever from that guy. What's that guy's name? Jack Tisharian or something? T oh, I can't even remember. But anyway, where I'm going with that is that it, it'll, it'll come out. You know, those that information will will come out. Yeah, because with this hanging over him. Wow. Okay, and interesting. So that's the tarot portion. And this may go a little further than the week of, you know, the 28th to the third, the June 3rd. But I have a little more time. So what I can do is bust out the kipper and see what comes through there for the week. Because, you know, I have my Jack Smith card and other people cards in this deck. Yeah, okay. I was just thinking maybe I'd use Libby's deck, maybe, but Meister Tarot's deck, but I, I've already got this one going, so let's just do this. All right. What can we expect to see him experiencing this next week? Or what would be the truth of what he really is experiencing, whether we see it or not? Okay, right there. Yeah, so he's he's working. Yeah, <laughs> he's working on... Uh, let me just keep going with the cards. There's Jack Smith. Oh my goodness. Wow. To have that courthouse card. And and remember, you know, this is next week. This isn't this isn't this week even though that's where I am. I you know, I'm still only on the 8, 18th here, I think is today. What is today? I just know it's Tuesday. No, what am I thinking? It's got to be the 22nd or 23rd somewhere in there. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. So right in the center, he has a painful loss coming in. Jack Smith is going to be initiating that change. I don't know that Jack Smith would actually be visiting him. Sometimes this is my card for visitors. But Jack Smith is going to end something for him and I think it's his ability to continue the grift maybe and but then again so there he's creating a painful loss for Trump but it could take a couple of years to bring through all the discovery with the courthouse card there because I, I tend to look at the card to the right as being what can take a couple of years uh, but then again, he's been working on things for so long that maybe it comes through sooner because this, this is a card, the pathway card is a card of development. And Jack Smith is not only looking at Trump, he's looking at everyone involved. He's trying to get everyone involved, everyone that's been involved. And that's further proven here with the, the family room, so Trump's inner circle and it's something that's going to level Trump. And his attorneys, this, oh, this could be Don Jr. and Eric as well. Wow. Okay. But with the first few cards coming in here, and Jack Smith is looking, you know, this way. So he's looking to make changes. He's working, Jack, Jack Smith is working hard. Trump doesn't really work. He well, he manipulates. So I think Trump will be experiencing the work that Jack Smith has been doing. That's how I'm going to call that top row up there. And we have the documents here. And Jack Smith has been on this train, this trajectory, this movement forward to get all those documents. Jack Smith may be issuing some more subpoenas this next week of Trump's inner circle. Yeah, important discoveries. At some point, the beginning of a jury trial, right? 
uh, Trump's reputation is only about making money and the risk and the gambling uh, you know, Trump Towers would be this card, any Trump Tower that he makes money off of. Trump Resorts, right, would also be in this card. And then here we have with uh, Foreign Connections. Foreign Connections and his teamwork, Trump's teamwork with Foreign Connections. And Jack Smith is all over that, right here, these two cards foreign, I mean, the, the communities of people and his inner circle uh, of, well, it's just all transactional, right? Jack Smith and his investigation and Jack Smith's strategy. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, his strategy, um, so now I'm mirroring these cards here together. So Jack Smith's strategy to get all of the, um, his patience, his planning, his hard work to get all of the documents he can. And he knows he has a little bit of time, but I don't know that he can go past this summer. But then again, you know, I mean, it, I doubt that it'll work, but like I said yesterday, uh, for sure Trump will be able, anybody can still run for president while they're locked up. They can even, they can even be indicted and then still. I mean, these are laws that we really need to change, and it really pisses me off that nothing's been changed yet. It's ridiculous. You know, there's darkness on both sides when when it comes to that. So okay, but anyway, documents investigations, that's the direction they're going, subpoenas to any person who, uh, all of his team, Trump's team, and then this major painful loss, this card is really, really important here. Jack Smith ending and leveling Trump. Wow. Okay, well, I don't think... Yeah, Trump Towers in other countries. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm really getting anything more. You guys might, and if you do, uh, go ahead and drop it in the comments. And yeah, look forward to them. Okay, <laughs> take good care, you guys, as always. Bye.